If you want my latest update for the Advent Calendar Project, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elen, and welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome to HMM Makeup, or hmm, makeup. Yes, we are talking Advent Calendar today. If you're not familiar with the Advent Calendar project, this is year two of this project. It is a year-long project from very end of December to um, essentially Christmas of the following year. And um, I can say that this second year has been uh, pretty darned uh, successful for a lot of people. A lot of people are enjoying uh, participating in this project. If you want to see who else is participating? Um, aside from Paula, aka a beauty guru made me do it, who is uh, has um, worked with me on this project for uh, the second year now. So she was the OG with me uh, last year and uh, and again this year. And um, yeah, there's quite there are quite a few people on Instagram and YouTube. Please take a look at my description box. You'll see a number of people listed. Uh, if you are participating, of course, uh, don't hesitate to go into the comments and declare it uh, as well. And uh, yeah, let's get into the uh, the project if you're not very familiar. It is the repurposing of an advent calendar. In this case, this is a Shoppers Drug Mart advent calendar from, I think, two years ago now. As in, last year was an advent calendar and I've repurposed it this year. So I've had it two years once as an advent calendar from Shoppers Drug Mart and now the repurposed version. I have gone through quite a few of the boxes in here. Uh, you can, you don't have to use an advent calendar for this project. You can just use a bag with a bunch of um, product names on pieces of paper. I have just uh, repurposed this advent calendar where I can put uh, the products directly in the boxes as I'm pulling them out. I think I'm at 15 or so um, products that I've already taken out. Um, I guess it, I'll reveal as I'm shaking the boxes. I, I didn't even look at the previous um, update video on this. I'll just go by wherever I'm at and, and that's fine. Um, before going and picking some new products though, I do want to show you what I have been working on uh, and uh, show you the progress on that and then we'll pick out the new products. And it is a year-long project for uh, most people, uh, and some folks will go with 12 items, some people will go uh, like I have with uh, 24 items or 25 uh, items. It's kind of like a, uh, based on the idea of a holiday time advent calendar, and usually they're either 12 items or 24, 25 items. So that's the kind of calendar that we repurpose, or like I said, writing item names on a piece of paper and drawing them at random works just fine as well. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you take a look at a number of folks participating, you'll see a number of different styles. People have adapted this project to whatever it is that they are comfortable with, and I am happy about that. The whole point of this is to incorporate some small um, aspects of our makeup collection or skincare collection. So, um, sample packets, um, some makeup that we're trying to finish, like the bottom end of a, a lipstick that would be one of these uh, products that I have on my face. I'm trying to finish an hourglass lipstick. Um, different different uh, products that have just been hanging around our beauty space and we just kind of want to finish them up. A project like this is perfect to uh, target those products and get full use out of it and just have them go out of the collection. I feel very rusty. It's been a month or so since I've uploaded on my channel and uh, so my apologies if I'm not quite as smooth as in usual my usual videos. Anyway, let's go into the products that I am still working through. Let's go from uh, least to most. Uh, this one was one that I thought that I would have used uh, last month, but I am realizing that I will not be using it right now because it is so hot in Winnipeg right now. I am, I, I, you can probably see I'm very shiny. It is very hot and, uh, and I don't want to turn on my air conditioner 
that I'm having issues with it. Uh, and so I am just melting before your eyes. There is no way I'm going to put oil on my body right now. I'm producing plenty <laughs> of, of face oil. I don't need extra. So I'm probably going to uh, wait and use this product uh, in the winter. And I believe that this was a product that I actually pulled uh, last update. Um, I'm very excited to try Josie Marin uh, oil. Usually I send uh, these oil samples to uh, my good friend Steph in Ireland. And this one I just decided, you know, she's big on it. I, I need to find out for myself what this oil is, uh, what makes this oil so special. So I will be using it, but probably not before the fall. I need to stop sweating <laughs> before I worry about hydrating my face in any way, shape or form. Anyway, long story short, it's off. Off to the side, that is. Okay, the next uh, number of products. Uh, let's go with a couple of products that I pulled uh, last month. I have this Kodali Premier Cru, which is the eye cream. And I have been thoroughly enjoying this. It is a very, very tiny applicator. And the thing is, it takes so little to apply um, um, as far as it's, it's very heavy as, uh, as far as it, um, being emollient. And so it does not take a lot. I, I just go under my eyes on each side. And I also go around my lips. Anybody who's using eye cream and you find that your lips could use some hydration, especially it's on the outside of the lips, eye cream is fantastic for that. Um, I automatically use eye cream for around uh, the eye as well as frown lines and around the, ma the mouth. And, uh, and it, it takes so little of eye cream, it does last a long time. Uh, the other uh, cream that I had that is fairly recent in this project is the, I don't know if it's NIA or NIA, uh, TL Advanced uh, Tightening Neck Cream. And I'm not using this cream to tighten my neck. <laughs> I'm not sure that really works, but I do have this cream and so I'm using it. And I do tend to um, use it more uh, during the day if I remember. I do tend to use um, whatever cream on my face and I'll just also will use it on uh, my décolleté and that's it works fine for me. So so this has been a decent combo for uh, cream uh, application and I do tend to use this one though the um, the neck cream or whatnot because it's a pretty small sample. I do tend to use that if um, maybe I want my skincare to do a little extra compared to the rest. Uh, these two are great um, options for, not options, because it's kind of a combo for um, where I want to feel like I've zhuzhed up my, uh, my skincare for, for the day. So if I'm going out on a date, um, I, I do like to, to have some kind of fancier products. It just makes me feel good. That's all. And I don't, I'm not going to say that I think they do anything more. I just think it's kind of nice to feel like you're giving your, your face and neck a, a treat uh, before heading out. Now for the next two, they are relatively new. Um, I would say a couple months since they've been uh, put into the project. And I have the Hourglass Veil Powder and also the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Now the primer I have not used, and the reason I haven't used it is I don't really feel right now that there is a need for a primer, and I don't want to use this just to use it. I'm going to keep it for when the weather gets cooler, and I do want a primer, I want something to help me, uh, help my makeup adhere to my face. Right now, I'm shiny enough. I don't need any help to have my face be sticky <laughs> to, to, to keep makeup on. So I, I'm going to use this uh, more so in the fall and winter. I was thinking of, oh, well, you know, and then just use it. But no, I don't want to waste product that will work better for me at another point in the year. So I'm going to just defer usage um, and that's okay with me. I would rather use a high-end product to the best of its use, as opposed to trying to finish something up really quickly. And the Hourglass Veil Powder is actually a powder that I do have in my collection in full size, uh, but this was a sample that I received as a, as a duo from um, Sephora. And I'm quite happy to have that um, sample container for travel purposes and will definitely uh, refill this 
uh, for travel purposes, as I said, uh, with my uh, full size powder. I'm really happy with it. I have been using this powder uh, just on its own to help set my concealer, which is also in this project, and I will show you next. So in this project, I have two concealers. The one that I am setting with the Hourglass powder is this one. It's the Creaseless Conceal Concealer from Tarte. Now it is quite brightening under the eye and I actually have it under my eye today and I really quite like it. Um, it is definitely a, like I said, a brightening concealer. I don't, I wouldn't say that I want that brightening effect all the time. If I want something more natural, I would use the other concealer that I can show you, but it does set very well with the Hourglass powder. If you've been looking for a combo for this concealer, I would definitely say that this Creaseless Concealer from Tarte and uh, the Hourglass powder, Hourglass Veil, is a really nice combo. Oh, and I should say, I have used this a lot. I use it almost uh, daily, I'd say four, maybe five times a week. Um, I put makeup on pretty much every day. Um, and I really, really enjoy it. And I'm probably going to look to purchase this product when I'm out of it, but it takes so little. I just put a little dot on the inner, uh, just lower inner corner of my eyes and then tap it out. And it takes so little. Um, I, I think I have a year's worth seriously in this. There's no way that I'm going to finish this uh, this year as I'm going through these products and giving you updates. It's just, it's there's just a lot in there, a lot. And another concealer. Uh, this one is an absolute favor, favorite of mine, and I now have Pan. It is the uh, Boing Industrial Strength Concealer. It is a mini, and it is uh, in the number two color. And I've got little fluffs everywhere for some reason. But you will see I have definite Pan. Now, this is very, very small. You can tell by my fingernails how small this is. Um, I am definitely, based on what I see now, I'm almost, not won't say definitely, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be close to finished uh, with this product by the end of the year. I really, really enjoy it. It does a great job. And if you're wondering where I wear it, around my nose. Actually, I need a little bit. I'll just, oh, I've got a little fluff here. Um, let me just show you how I put it on. So I go into the container just with my, my finger and I just go around the veiny part of my nose. And that's it. The little veins are gone and, and I'm uh, happy as a clam. So this is a uh, wonderful concealer. I am going to, I'm sure, uh, repurpose this, well not repurpose, refill it with the same number two Boing Industrial Concealer because this is too good to be true for travel. Uh, it's tiny and it, it lasts for months, so therefore a little goes a long way and, uh, and I will, again, uh, refill this for my own personal purposes uh, off camera. So yeah, really happy with, uh, with having rolled this into the project through the advent calendar um, um, as a, um, an unknown pick a number of months ago and I'm, I'm really happy. Now this other one I picked out uh, relatively early, I think, maybe th two or three updates ago, and it is this Sephora Beauty Amplifier. And basically what it is, is they, it's a, depending on your skin tone, kind of a, like a flesh tone uh, base eyeshadow to help neutralize, uh, you know, the, the veins uh, on the eyelid. And it's a very nice color for somebody of my complexion to just do a base, again, eliminate the veins and then choose another color uh, of eyeshadow to start building a look. I enjoy it. I think you can see the wear on it at this point. And um, I'm, I'm enjoying it, but it's, it's a product that is going to last me a very, very long time, I think. And out of everything that I had to show you, I have an empty to show you. And it is a Bite Beauty mini that I completely finished. There's nothing left in it. And so I'm very happy about that. So out of um, three, six, nine products, I have one finished 
and one that is uh, that has pan. So pretty happy about that. So a total of nine products active, one that I finished here, and I am ready to go into the advent calendar and select two more products. So here's the advent calendar again, and I'm going to go in and figure out which box I'm at. Okay, so I just checked, and number 15, which is down here, is empty, but um, 16 and 17 are full, and those are the two that I'm going to open. And I just took out uh, number four, which would be right next to them, so that I could actually get to those two boxes uh, that are 16 and 17. So let's see what those two boxes contain. So here's uh, 16. Try not to rip these boxes. Okay, so it's open and it's a white container. Oh, oh nice. Okay, this is the Milk Kush Lip Balm. That is great. It's a good time of year for lip balm. And oh, there's quite a bit in that. And I don't think I will have any trouble using this because I do like to have a lip balm on the go. And does it say how much there is in here? 1.5 grams or 0.05 ounces. And it's called Green Dragon. You know what? I want to do a quick swatch of it. Oh yeah, it feels very, very balmy. Nice. Well, I am very excited to try this one. I don't have anything really from milk, so that will be very nice. Again, Kush Lip Balm. And that was number 16, and we're going to go to number 17, which is just underneath it. And let's see what is inside. It's kind of nice to finish the Bite Beauty lip liner, which I was using pretty much as a whole lipstick, by the way, and to have a balm replacing a lip product, and I wonder what's in here. Oh, I know what this is. I don't even need to see the label. It is the Green Clean from Pharmacy. Hopefully you can see everything. So Pharmacy and Green Clean, and it is a makeup remover. It is my favorite makeup remover. It looks like this and it lasts quite a bit and I'm very excited. I've been using lately the e.l.f. makeup remover. It's kind of like um, it's like a clear gel. looks pretty interesting uh, and I've also been using the Sephora, a similar product from Sephora, but I have no problem switching to this one until it's done for the advent calendar because I'm supposed to use these products and it's my favorite, so why would I use something else? So yes, perfect, lovely. So lip balm and green clean. Ironically, they're both products that are green in color, but interesting. I'm wondering if I should pick another product. I think I'm going to go and pick another product. Um, and the reason being that I, I there's really not overlap with a lot of these products. So I think I can make room and add another one. So I didn't anticipate doing this, but I'm going to go and um, open up 18 as well. This one right here. I'm surprising myself. Okay, so here is 18. I can hear there's something in the box. And I get my little assistant to open the box without ripping it. There we go. I have no idea what's in here. Oh, oh, this is perfect. I think this is skincare. What does it say? Um, Dream Skin by Dior. And it is, what is it? Global Age Defying Skincare. Let's open it. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to open it to see what it looks like inside. Oh, it's tiny. I'm looking through the ring light 
there's only this much product in it. It's going to last me maybe a couple of uses, so I'm glad that I went for an extra product. And this is age-defying skin care for face. And I mean, again, with the ring light, I can see that there's only this much product in, in this sample, so it's kind of it's kind of silly in a way. But um, yeah, I'll use it. So a little bit of skincare. I've got um, one, two, three, four, five. So about half of the products I have right now are skincare, lip care type of products, and uh, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not unhappy about that. That's great. Okay, so as I said, I am at 18 products revealed so far, doing great. And let's just do a quick recap of what it is that I'll be working through this month. I did finish the Bite Beauty uh, Lip Liner. Two products that I have not used yet, the Josie Marin Oil and the Hourglass Primer. Again, I was trying to say that those two products are better for me for the fall, so I will be using them in the fall. I will continue to use the Tightening Neck Cream by, uh, what's it called? NIA uh, 114, kind of the Strivectin, yeah, Strivectin family. And then the Caudalie Premier Cru, which is an eye cream. So that is a nice combo that I will continue to use. Speaking of combos, this is another one I mentioned earlier, the Creaseless Concealer from Tarte and the Hourglass Veil Powder. I really enjoy using those two together. Uh, using this as the brightening concealer and using the hourglass veil to set. A couple of concealer products that I will continue to use as well are the Boing Industrial Concealer. I already have Pan in this one. And also the Sephora Beauty Amplifier, which is kind of a beigey peach, um, essentially eyeshadow that gives me a nice base to build an eye look on. I use those two uh, pretty much for every look these days. And then we have some skincare items. Uh, this is the Green Clean that I was so excited to get as a makeup remover. And now I've got the Kush Lip Balm that is kind of a green color, but looks like it just goes on clearer. And then finally, an itty bitty, teeny weeny <laughs> Dior sample of Dream Skin, which sounds like uh, a skincare product for the face. And it says anti-aging uh, global what does it say? Um, advanced Age Global. It does. I don't even think they have enough room on here to say what the total title of the product is. So I'll stop right there. Maybe the box tells me more. It says um, Capture Total Dream Skin Advanced Global Age Defying Skin Care Perfect Skin Creator is what it says. Marketing. Not much info. That's it. I showed you 12 products, 11 of which are uh, still on the go. The Bite Beauty uh, lip pencil is the only one that is exiting. You'll see that in my empties as well. And uh, if you have found I've been a little bit scarce on YouTube of, as of late, you would be absolutely correct. And I will uh, film another video hopefully in the next week or so, explaining a little bit what's been going on and, um, and the fact that I think that I'm going to be back with a more regular filming schedule for you and for me uh, over the coming weeks. So yeah, if there's a specific uh, video series that you want to see uh, resumed sooner than later, just let me know in a comment. Uh, I would appreciate that. And, uh, and I'm happy to be back. I have missed everyone. And uh, please leave me a comment. Uh, comment, question, statement, <laughs> whatever you like below. I'm just happy to be back and uh, filming again. If you have some wins and notables to share about the Advent Calendar Project, please don't hesitate to uh, leave me a comment. Uh, as always, I love to hear everybody's progress and we'll be hunting around YouTube for the updates that you all have to share and uh, poking on Instagram as well. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.